Hello, welcome to Academy of Magical Arts. My name is Ayana Rain, and I am here to talk to you about Imbolc. Imbolc takes place during some of the coldest, darkest times of the year in the Northern Hemisphere. It happens when people are longing for the warmth of summer and spring. Um, this festival is meant to recognize the small season changes and the shifting that start to appear. This is the time of year that you can notice the shift um, and little things starting to happen. A little history on Imbolc. It's basically a Gaelic festival that celebrates the beginning of spring. It falls at the midpoint of winter in between the um, winter and spring equinox and it usually lands on February 1st or 2nd. The word Imbolc refers to sheep's milk of Old Irish and during these ancient times lactating ewes um, it's when they would first start to produce milk and that's the first sign of spring because if they were producing milk that meant that they were going to be giving birth soon. Imbolc is also referred to as Bridget's Day and of course this is going back to the Celtic goddess of fertility and this is when the winter part of the god and the crone is going to rest and the maiden comes out. Um, this is also a time where recognition of like livestock and light come back in. Um, and it's honoring the memory of um, that fire and the rays sun. You can also consider this to be, of course, another fire ceremony. Also, some of the things that Imbolc represents is people wanting to set personal goals for themselves and setting that seed. And the seed is being planted for when the spring and summer come so it can become um, that sprout and the flower and then the fruit. Um, so this is a time that you would want to put any kind of manifestation into place. Also, some things that are associated with Imbolc, um, the deities are all virgin and maiden goddesses, especially Bridget. Gaia is another one. Um, the gods that are associated with this are the gods of love and fertility. Um, so, of course, Eros is one of those as well. Symbolism of Imbolc is purity, growth, renewal, the reunion of the goddess and the god, fertility, um, and also dispending of the old and making room for the new. So basically, it's um, representation of getting rid of things that do not serve purpose for you or that are not something that is healthy or going to help with growth. And then it's bringing in new. It's like closing old doors and opening new doors. Actual symbols of Imbolc are white flowers, of course, candles, wheels. We have wands because wands represent a phallic symbol. And any kind of um, yellow flower as well. Herbs that you can associate with Imbolc are Angelica, Basil, Bay Laurel, Blackberry, Heather, Iris, Myrrh, Tansy, Violet, and again here we have any kind of white or yellow flower. Foods that can be associated with Imbolc are pumpkin seed, sunflower seed, poppy seed cakes, muffins, scones, breads, all kinds of dairy products, peppers, onions, garlic, raisin, spiced wine, and also herbal teas. Incense that you could burn for Imbolc include basil, bay, wisteria, cinnamon, violet, vanilla, and myrrh. The colors that we can also associate with this are white, pink, red, yellow, very light green, and a little bit of brown. Stones you can associate with Imbolc are amethyst, bloodstone, garnet, ruby, onyx, and turquoise. Um, some of the activities that you can do to celebrate this, of course, you would have a fire, candles and candle lighting, stone gathering, um, also, it's encouraged to go hiking and search for signs of that fertility in spring. Also, you can ceremonial make wands during this time. Um, of course, having a feast and anything that 
is going to symbolize in ceremony the closing of old and the renewal of that rebirth and fertility. I also would like to um, just put that out there for those of you um, think about this in bulk as a time to plant that seed, whether it be for self-growth or things you'd like to bring to you in this next year, um, and plant that seed because everything that that seed is to become is already inside of it, and all it needs to do is to be nurtured and loved and grown, and what will happen is that will grow into that sprout, and that sprout will grow into the plant, and that plant will produce fruit and that fruit will become into a harvest. And so this is a full manis manifestation of things that you would like to bring into you, um, things that you would like for yourself. So just keep that in mind when you are studying and celebrating this holiday. And I hope that even though this was short, it was extremely helpful to you. I thank you for joining us here at Academy of the Magical Arts. Many blessings to you. Have a very, very merry in bulk. And namaste and blessed be.